How would you like to know that you're getting the best possible outcome from every situation you find yourself in? The most benevolent outcome. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So stick around and let's get into it. Hi, and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. If this is your first time here, I'm Veronica, and it is my desire to help you live the life of your dreams. So on this channel, we talk about intentional living and spirituality and all of those things that go into helping you live your best life. If you haven't done it yet, please take a minute to hit the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any of the good information that will be coming to you. Most benevolent outcomes. What does that even mean? I first learned about Most Benevolent Outcomes, or MBOs for short, when I was watching a show on Gaia, and they were talking about it. So as soon as I saw that show, I put this practice into effect in my life, and I can tell you firsthand that it works big time. This is based on the information that is in a book called The Gentle Way by Tom T. Moore. Tom T. Moore talks about how he started using the phrase most benevolent outcome or I request a most benevolent outcome for all of the situations in his life. And he believed that this was kind of a shortcut to his angel. Um, it was kind of like getting on the bat phone and going, hey, I need help. And he said that you can use it with any situation in your life from getting a better parking place to helping cure disease because you do have angels on your team and they are happy to help you. They're benevolent beings and they love you and it brings them joy to help you. There's a limit on what your angels and your guides can do without you asking for their help because you have free will. So by requesting a most benevolent outcome, it gives them permission to step in and kind of show off a little bit. Do some fancy razzle-dazzle for you. There are a few places where I disagree with him, though. Things that he says in the book. For example, the first thing that he says that I disagree with is that you have to say these things out loud or write them down. You have to actually say with your mouth, I request a most benevolent outcome for blah, blah, blah. I disagree with that. Being clairsentient, I can feel the energy and I know, I know that I know that I know that as soon as I think the thought, before I'm even done thinking the thought, it's already in effect. I can feel that divine energy already pouring in and covering the situation. So I know that just thinking the thought is good enough. The other thing on which I disagree with him is that he says you can only request an MBO for yourself and not for other people. And I disagree with that because same principle as what I just talked about, I can feel the energy. So if whenever I request an MBO for another person, I feel that same divine influx of energy coming in that I do when I request it for myself. There's no difference. Now, perhaps it might get even more of a little boost or something if a person requests it for themselves versus someone else requesting it for them. However, it still works. It's still effective. So what can you request an MBO for? Anything you want. Really, anything you want. I keep my angels hopping. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a motorcycle outside of my house and somebody is just enjoying revving that engine. So if you can hear it, sorry, what can I say? It's springtime in Cleveland and it was a nice day today and people are excited to be outside. I ask for most benevolent outcomes for everything from finding a better parking place to having a good day at work to my body being healthy, my car running good, Whatever. I have a couple little stories. Just examples, okay? So first of all, several months ago, my daughter was remodeling her kitchen. And she needed $4,000 in order to finish. And they didn't have it. So they were going to go get a loan 
and they should have been able to get this loan. And she called me and she's like, Mom, I need $4,000. So we're going to get a loan. And I'm like, oh, that's so much interest and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you know what? Say these words. I request the most benevolent outcome for obtaining $4,000 and then leave it. Go apply for your loan and just trust that it's going to happen. So she went in, they applied for the loan, and they got turned down. And she was beside herself. She's like, what do they mean I'm turned down? How did that happen? And what am I going to do now? So much for your benevolent outcome. So her husband, my son-in-law, had said, you know what? Let's just go to Home Depot. We'll price it all out. We'll see if maybe there's something, some way we can cut corners. Maybe we can save a little money. So they went to Home Depot. They're pricing out all of the things that they need to buy, seeing if they can cut any corners, etc. One of the Home Depot workers comes up to them and asks them if they have ever considered applying for a Home Depot card. And they were like, Ugh, no, thank you. And they were thinking, we just got turned down for this loan. We're never going to get approved for a credit card. So they decided to try anyways, and guess what? Yep, they got approved that day for $4,000 on a Home Depot card. They were able to buy everything that they needed, and the interest rate was lower than the loan would have been, and they, as they pay that off, they get that credit back and can reuse it for the other things on their home. So... For that specific situation, that was the most benevolent outcome for what they needed. I use it for all kinds of little things like, I mean, I use it for big things too, don't get me wrong, but I use it for everything. For example, I work at a place where I have to park in a big parking garage and it fills up so fast and I end up parking all the way at the top, all the way in the back and it's just such a hike to get out of there. I like to park on a particular floor in a particular place. So does everybody else. <laughs> so there's never any spots open. So anyways, I've started saying, I request the most benevolent outcome to find a parking place on the seventh floor in that particular area that I like. And every single day, knock on wood, I appreciate it, thank you. Every single day that I have gone to work and I say that, I get my spot that's always open and I just pull right in. Thank you, angels. So along with asking for a most benevolent outcome and actively participating and requesting these outcomes, you can also add a mantra into your life that just kind of brings that energy in and it taps into the greater collective consciousness of this um, benevolent energy. If you watch Activation Vibrations channel, you'll know that she has tapped into this as well. And she actually started a mantra that says everything is working out best case scenario. And she's kind of made that famous right now. I see a lot of people posting about this and saying it. And um, I had been too. When I say that mantra, I can feel myself tap into that collective energy that's going with that mantra, and it just boosts it all the more. When you do something or when a person does something, the energy from that thing goes up there and stays. You can't create or destroy energy. It just remains. So when you have a lot of people doing the same thing, saying the same words with the same intention, that energy all comes together and it connects and it builds on itself and before you know it you have this really high vibrating just buzzing ball of electricity connected to this mantra that she's been saying everybody's saying the same words with the same intention and it's just building so every time you tap into that energy you're not only benefiting from the words that you're saying and the intention that you're putting out, you're benefiting from the high vibrating um, collective consciousness surrounding that mantra from everyone else that's doing it too. And you get to benefit from that. It's like it's supercharged, like Wonder Twins Activate type of thing. Say the mantra to yourself over and over throughout the day. Everything is working out best case scenario. Everything is working out best case scenario. Everything is working out best case scenario.
because it is. If you're interested in checking her out, I'll link to her channel down below. I hope that this gave you a couple of good ideas on ways that you can tap into um, the benevolence that's surrounding you and the help that you have available to you. Ask your angels for most benevolent outcomes for everything and repeat the mantra, everything is working out best case scenario to yourself and see how it benefits your life. See how things start changing. See if you start getting these little benevolent outcomes. Don't forget to say thank you. Please and thank you go a long way, even in the spirit world. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are, or if you already do this, do you already participate in the most benevolent outcome bits? Let me know about down below. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all the good stuff that'll be coming. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing week. I'll see you soon. Until then.